Challenge problems on logarithms. Question 53. If log a of b equals to pq and log b of a equals to 4 over p square, show that p is equals to 1 over 4. So that's a very, very interesting question. And I like to, you know, show you with some, some strategies how to solve these kinds of questions. So let's try to use our those uh, reciprocal or change of base method okay so let's do change of base when we say log a over b equals to pq then what is log b of a right that becomes so because this is given in b over a so let's figure out if a over b so we'll write start like this log a over b is equals to something which is p cube let me start p cube here is p cube is equals to log a of b correct then we'll write this in terms of b over a and then see what do we get so we can write this that is change of base formula right so we'll apply change of base formula and say we'll change our base to b so when then we say log b of b divided by log b of a right now what is log b of b log b of b is 1 so it is 1 over log b of a correct so what is log b of a it is given as 4 over p square so we can substitute this value right so we have p cube equals to 1 divided by 4 over p square which is log b of a so we'll say 4 over p square correct so that is to say that p cube is equals to p square over 4 so we get p square over 4 right and we need to prove what p is equals to 1 over 4 which is evident from here if we divide by p square on both sides what do we get so this implies if I divide by p square I get p equals to 1 over 4 so we get what we really wanted to prove so we have shown that p is equals to 1 over 4 so that is a very interesting way of solving it now what we can do is we can try doing it in a different manner so so I'll adopt another strategy while well, it is change of base to show the same thing correct so what we will do is we'll change the base for both of them to a common base let us say to the base 10 correct so so when we say that log a of b equals to p cube then log a of b can be written as let me change this to base 10 so i can write this as log 10 so i don't have to write log 10 here of b divided by log 10 of a equals to p cube right so this is one equation i get Now I will do the same thing for the other given equation which is log of, let me use a different thing, which is log of b of a is given to us as 4 over p squared. So I will change this base to 10 and then we get log to the base 10 of a divided by log to the base 10 of b equals to 4 over p squared. Correct? So that is my equation number two. Okay. Now, if I multiply equation one and two, log b of a divided by log a times log a over log b, I get one on the left side. Correct? So let's do that. So what I'm trying to do now is, so I'll do equation one times equation two. So when I do this, then I have log b of a times log a of b which is 1 so we get 1 is equals to p cube times 4 over p square 4 over p square correct that means 1 equals to 4 p right and from here I can write 1 over 4 equals to p that is what we wanted p equals to 1 over 4 so that is the alternate way of solving the same equation right so what we did here was we did change of base in both the cases in this example we changed the base to 10 and here we changed the base to the 
argument, right? And got a reciprocal kind of function. So that is how you can solve these kinds of questions, right? They're tricky, interesting, and challenging at times. I hope you learn and move on. Thank you.